the governments are talking about by 2050, we have to be carbon zero. Okay, the only way to achieve that is to find new processes to be able to make the same material that we use that are working toward that goal. So with our QRR, our fume silica reactor, that's exactly what we're doing. Well, HPQ is a green engineering company. Basically, we look at industrial materials and figure out better ways of making that product in a way that's more environmentally sustainable. We're not looking at doing the products in a, in a more expensive way. We're just looking at a way to do them better, better quality, uh, and basically more environmentally sustainable. We have three, basically, initiatives we're working around. Two of them are centered around using quartz as feedstock and making it into higher value material. First of them is silicone. What we're doing is we're developing a new process in a new way, and a green way, and basically a low carbon process to transform quartz into silicone metal. And the second process we're doing is a new process to take quartz and make it into fume silica. Those are two materials that are widely used in commercial applications everywhere else. And the third one is developing an autonomous hydrogen delivery system that will resolve some of the negative or the issues with hydrogen, which is its dangerous city in transport, its highly explosive nature. In our Pure Silicone Initiative, the first technology we have is what we call the PureVap QRR, Quartz Reduction Reactor. What that technology does, it allows us to produce at a smaller scale than the you know, smaller footprint than in the traditional industrial process, a much higher purity material than competitors can do. Second advantage, because it's an enclosed reactor, um, instead of releasing CO2 in the atmosphere, we can basically uh, capture 100% of the carbon that is generated in the process. Therefore, we're the only one that are looking at doing a green silicone material that we call silicium X. In that section, the advantage of that technology is because it does a higher purity material, we can also use that as feedstock for higher end value material. So what HPQ is doing with its QRR technology is we're developing a much more efficient process to make silicone metal. And then we're developing high-end applications that are perfectly suited for the technology. In the fume silica reactor, what we are doing, and that's, that's I think a very fascinating part, is we're replacing an entire industrial technology which use silicone metal as feedstock, and we go to quartz, we use high temperature plasma to make fume silica of the same quality uh, in a much more environmentally friendly process because we eliminate the, the part of making silicone metal. Moving on from the QRR's unique ability of producing three to four end material in one step, is then looking how we can use that material in higher value application, like silicone for anode material or silicon nitrate, which are other high value applications. So the entire concept, the entire philosophy of HPQ with the QRR technologies, we have a small scalable system, which allows us to focus our commercial initiative toward high value end product. Here we are in HPQ's operational system in our QRR, a Gen 3 QRR pilot plant location located within Pyrogenesis facility in, the, in Montreal. This is where actually everything has started. Where we started behind these walls over there, we started doing the small lab scale tests. All right? And right here, the Gen 3 is right next to me. Okay? We can't go further than, than this point to show you what it is, but this is a 2,500 times scaling up from the original machine. And you have, what we have here okay, is the balance of the system we can, we can show you. So it gives you an idea of the size and the scope. Remember, we started with something no bigger than a washer dryer, okay? And then we, it goes all the way to the wall. And the interesting thing is behind that wall is where we're gonna have our next very exciting project, which is our fume silica project. It's gonna be built right next to this one. So we'll have our QRR ear making silicone, or Gen 3 making silicone, and right next we'll be making fume silica on the other side. And what's truly fascinating about this technology is this QRR is really a state of the heart um, new process to make silicone metal. And we validated so far that we were able to do in one step 3N silicone, which is unheard of. Um, and also we've demonstrated because of the way the system is, because it's a, you can't see it, but it's an enclosed system. But right over here is where all the hot gases come, come out. Okay? And these hot gases basically are mostly carbon gas. And this is one of the key how we're going to be able to make green silicone because we'll be able to capture in our commercial size machine, the carbon coming out. And by capturing it, we basically reduce the carbon footprint of making silicon. So really, this pilot plant, this location is really exciting. As we're getting closer to finishing 100% uh, of the, the critical milestone needed for the, for the project to move forward, we'll then be ready to start advancing, building commercial size equipment. And we'll be using this as a test bed 
And we're also using it to produce the silicone material we'll need for a battery initiative. So I'm really excited to be here and being able to show you what I can about this as we move forward and get ready to, to continue the project forward. In the hydrogen section, what we're doing is we're improving the carbon footprint in many places. One of the materials we're going to be using to generate the hydrogen is either going to be a low carbon material, recycled material, or the second one is going to be our own silicone to CCMX, which is already reducing carbon footprint to, to almost nothing. It's fundamentally an autonomous reactor system or process where we will be able to generate on-demand hydrogen anywhere. And what the advantage of that concept is that we eliminate the biggest risk with hydrogen, which is transportation. So hydrogen is a very good material with just zero emission. The problem is the point between where you manufacture the hydrogen, put it in pressurized tanks, and then deliver it to the end user is an extremely complicated logistic chain, very dangerous. We're replacing that by simply using as feedstock basically materials that are completely non-reactive. So our logistic chain is extremely simple, and we make the hydrogen on demand at the place of uh, utilization. So those three technologies, what they have all combined together is they use silicone at one part of the other. One of the things that's very interesting about what HPQ is doing is we're working on a product other than hydrogen, which are basically sandwich material. So we're, our buyer of that materials are not the end user. And what happens right now is the carbon footprint in the manufacturing of silicone metal becomes added to the end buyer. So for us being able to make uh, green silicone uh, will give us a great competitive advantage because price being equal, the buyer will look at the carbon footprint because it's now been actually an, an important factor. In the fume silica, that's another place we have a massive advantage. If we make a material that's similar, they'll prefer to use our material because of our, of our carbon footprint. So that makes HPQ a really unique opportunity in the sense that if you're looking at a company that can basically change the world, HPQ is one of them. In the verticalities we work, we will be changing.